kids today we are going to uh, discuss the first step of the cellular respiration that is glycolytic pathway uh, glycolytic pathway glycolytic pathway is also known as empidin merov pathway it take place in the cytosol of the all living cells in this pathway glucose is converted into uh, pyruvate and generating two molecules of atp and two molecules of nadp this complex comprises of 10 different enzymes and which we have divided into two phases one is preparative phase and another one is payoff phase preparative phase is also known as glucose activation phase in this phase two uh, atp molecules ut is utilized by the glucose to convert uh, for the activation of glucose and uh, this phase comprises of first five step of the glycolytic pathway the very first step is first glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate with the help of enzyme hexokinase and utilizing one ATP molecule. The second step comprises the glucose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 6-phosphate by the help of the enzyme phosphofructo, uh, phosphohexose isomerase. Now fructose 6-phosphate uh, utilize another ATP molecule and converted and get converted into fructose 1,6-bis-phosphate with the help of enzyme phosphofructokinase 1. Now, aldolase enzyme cleave this molecule into two, uh, two molecules which of three carbon compounds. One is glyceldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Glyceldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate are isomers and they can be interconverted with the help of enzyme triose phosphate isomerase. The second stage of glycolytic pathway is payoff phase. This is also known as energy extraction phase. In this, energy will be produced and uh, we have ended with the uh, preparative phase with glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. From now, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate will get converted into pyruvate. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate -phos uh, will be first converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Then, with the help of phosphoglycerate kinase, which utilize one ADP molecule and produce one ATP molecule, and it will get converted into 3-phosphoglycerate. Now, 3-phosphoglycerate will get converted into 2-phosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme mutase. Now, water molecule will be uh, uh, will be eliminated and it will convert it into phosphoenol pyruvate. Finally, phosphoenol pyruvate will convert it into pyruvate. Since we have two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, so step 3 to 10 will be uh, repeated two times and we will get two pyruvate from one glucose molecule. The significance of uh, this pathway is it is the only source of energy in the erythrocyte. Also, it provides carbon skeleton for the synthesis of non-essential amino acid as well as the glycerol part of the uh, fatty acid. Uh, since gly uh, glycolytic pathway are mostly reversible, it is also used for the gluconeogenesis which is synthesis of gl uh, glycose glucose from non-carbohydrate source. Thank you.